<laughs> okay. Um, my name is George. I'm from Skynetics. We supply security equipment um, to the to the general what's the word um, contractor that goes out and installs security systems. Uh, we specialize in it. We don't just distribute, but we know our equipment. We we go out and we do assessment and we advise the clients on the right equipment to use. Um, and what else? Well, we we've been around for about nine years in this industry, and we're really good at what we do. Um, the biggest problem that we find in the industry is that people are not really educated. You know, people see a system and they uh, they believe that you know just because it's expensive, it's good. Uh, but it doesn't really work that way. You've got to you got to be able to understand the specifications. And you know, funny enough, people don't hide the specifications, but because you know, the user at the end of the day doesn't know how to read those specifications uh, and doesn't understand them, they end up buying equipment that's not really that great. And then at the end of the day, they install it six months down the line, doesn't work anymore, the quality is not what it used to be, and yeah, that's when eventually we get contacted and we come out and we have a look and we tell them that unfortunately you bought the wrong stuff. But it's too late then, you know, then the, the client ends up having to purchase a complete new system or most of it. So basically you also focus in establishing the, the needs of your client before supplying him with any equipment? Yes, we, um, look, we assess what they actually need uh, and then from there on we will advise and say you need A, B and C. Of course, um, you know at times people don't really believe you and they think that you know, you're trying to sell them something more expensive than they really need. At times it's not really something expensive. Just to give you an example, um, I was out to a certain complex about a month back, uh, which paid two and a half million for a security system around the complex, which would detect people getting close to the wall or trying to jump into the complex, etc. And uh, they paid a fortune for it, and it didn't work at night. You know, when you need it most, uh, mm -hmm. and that specific side of analytics doesn't work in grayscale, which is black and white. Uh, and they, they couldn't get it working, so eventually they contacted us, we've been out there, and look, we're not going to replace the whole system, but we're having to implement beams around that get into their security system and then warn them if somebody's coming closer. But uh, I mean, there's, there's hundreds of companies, and so I've heard just, just yesterday I was out all the way in, um, I've been much longer than three minutes, I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry about that. It's fine. I've been all the way to, um, uh, what's this place, uh, rates just before yeah. Bethlehem, mm -hmm. uh, to see the Farmers Association and there as well, they're having problems. And they told us themselves, you know, they've had a hundred different companies come in and, and demo their products and show them the products. And you know, I went there without a single product. Uh, and I just, I had to go and assess the situation first before recommending something. I can't come there with a, with a camera and say, look, this is the best thing out because it's not necessarily the best thing out. But, you have to know the application, like the lady said, um, one shoe doesn't fit all. And I mean in most industries, it doesn't. But in the security industry, definitely not. Thank you so much. Your contact details for our um, viewers here, please. It is, okay, so my name is George, and my number is 072-298-2420. Thank you so much.